Pit bulls have long received bad press, and are seen by most as an aggressive dog. While this may be true based on personal experience, they are no more aggressive than other breeds, and their behavior will be down to ineffective training. If treated right, pit bulls are incredibly friendly, well-behaved, and are some of the most loyal dogs in existence. Even in the face of bad press, pit bulls remain a popular dog across the world. They are great to have around children, if appropriately raised, and are good with other dogs. In this video, you'll get to know the pit bull breeds, including their history, breed overview and some myths surrounding them. Let's get started. This is Dog Breeds FAQ Channel. Question number one, where do pit bulls come from? Pit bulls were created in America and the United Kingdom by breeding together terriers and bulldogs. The purpose of a pit bull was to combine the agility and speed of a terrier with the strength of a bulldog. In the UK, pit bulls were used in blood sports, namely bull baiting and bear baiting. This is part of the reason why the thought of as aggressive dogs, but the same logic applies to breeds such as bloodhounds, retrievers, and standard bulldogs. Question number two. What breeds count as pit bulls? Different countries recognize different breeds as pit bulls, which may have an impact on their popularity. For example, a breed considered a pit bull might not be as popular in that country due to the label attached. However, these are the breeds commonly recognized as pit bulls. 1. American Pit Bull Terrier. 2. American Staffordshire Terrier. 3. American Bully. 4. Staffordshire Bull Terrier. 5. American Bulldog, sometimes included. All dogs classed as pit bulls share similar appearances, the most notable factor being, their short, stocky bodies. Some other common characteristics are. Square head. Floppy ears. Short. Smooth coat. Wide shoulders. And muscular body. Due to the wide variety of breeds that come under the pit bull umbrella, not every one of these markers can be identified in every kind of dog. Also, some dogs that match this description don't count as pit bulls because they weren't bred from a terrier bulldog mix. It's not particularly easy to identify a pit bull based on appearance alone, but these markers can help. Myth busting. Pit bulls, possibly more than any other breed, have been on the receiving end of decades of bad press. This has led to them ending up in shelters with no one wanting them. So to help with this, here are some of the most common misconceptions about pit bull breeds, and why they're wrong. 1. Pit bulls bite down, and their jaws lock. Essentially, pit bulls are the same as any other dog. Although they're very muscular, their morphology is fundamentally identical to any other dog. The reason people believe the jaws lock is because pit bulls are strong. Their ability to bite down is much greater than our ability to prise their jaws open. Dogs are proportionately much stronger than humans, and this is especially true of breeds such as pit bulls. 2. Pit bulls attack more people than any other breed. This statistic is hard to prove, but also hard to disprove. It's not easy to keep track of biting figures, but there's no evidence of this being the case. One thing that affects statistics is that many breeds of dog come under the umbrella of pit bulls. So if someone were to look at a list, it would seem as though pit bulls come out on top. So this one is down to inaccurate statistics, and not the dog. 3. Pit bulls are known to attack their owners. No dog will ever turn on a person for no reason, it's not in their nature. Aggression towards humans can be due to so many factors, but the most important one is the dog's previous experience with people. If they've been badly treated by previous owners, or have anxiety, then they are much more likely to be aggressive. Also, a dog will never attack on a whim, there's always a build-up. The first warning signs are growling and teeth baring, and so if you ignore these signs, then you can't blame the dog. 4. Pit bulls are fighting dogs. This one technically isn't a myth, as this is why pit bulls were bred. However, the breeding was mainly for physical traits, as it's impossible to pass on a mental habit realistically. So with the right training, a pit bull will be a very friendly dog. So, in conclusion. The important thing to remember about pit bulls is that negative publicity made them popular. 
Among owners and breeders, pit bull breeds are known to be friendly, loyal dogs that just want love. They make great companions and are excellent around children and other animals. However, no dog is risk-free, and so always be aware of potential issues. Now, it's your turn. What is it like to own a pit bull breed? Is your dog a pit bull terrier, an Amstaff, or a Staffy? Leave your comment below. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you will get notified when we upload a new video. Thank you for watching.